Mr Chairman and members of St Dimpnus Dromore and representatives from the under 16 champions of Ulster, I'm absolutely our right to your counties in Ulster. I'm delighted to be here this evening. Michael rang me on Monday morning, asked me was I doing anything this evening and uh, I knew I was in Kilbrony Park earlier today for Ulster Cross Country Championships. What had totally gone out of my head was, was my mother's anniversary mass tonight, <laughs> uh, back in Bourne at half seven. So apologies if you do see me shooting off. It's not that I'm not happy with what's going on. It's just that I have another event. But I wouldn't have missed this for the world. Uh, and the reason is that I never knew Paul McGear. I certainly know the McGear family now, but I never knew Paul. But I count myself very privileged to have seen him playing. Um, didn't see him playing for very long. I happened to be in Healy Park in Oma, uh, married to an Armagh woman, maybe. That maybe explained why I was there when Tyrone were playing Armagh in the Ulster Minor and Senior Championship on the 15th of June, 1997. There's a number of things about the day stand out. Um, performance by Jarlath Burns in the middle of the field. Uh, his catching that day was second to none. Um, Unfortunately, Jarlath's shooting was never the strongest point. <laughs> Maybe from a Tyrone point of view, we were probably happy. <laughs> but the display of Jarlath that day was quite magnificent. The, um, should we say, the assist that Matty McLean gave to Justin McNulty before he scored the, the winning goal for, for Tyrone in the senior game. But the one vivid memory of that day is the first half, I think it was, I was sitting in the stand, so it was to my right, where the ball coming in from uh, towards the um, Armagh goal, the Tyrone number 12, who we know was Paul, running forward, the Armagh goalkeeper, Willie McSorley, coming out, Paul getting the vital touch to it, ball goes into the net. Unfortunately, the collision resulted in Paul sustaining a, a serious injury uh, and later uh, that evening, unfortunately, passing away. It was very clear from anyone that this was no ordinary injury from the very start, um, and unfortunately, it trans transpired uh, that it was no ordinary injury. Um, so that day has had a, I think for anyone who was in Healy Park that day, and particularly, of course, for the McGear family, that was a, a life-changing moment for them. But I think for anyone who was there that day, uh, it was also life-changing, because it just shows when we go out to enjoy our sport and enjoy what we do, there's always that risk factor uh, and sometimes it can be a very very thin dividing line between injury not injury serious injury and in this case uh, unfortunately the, the ultimate price but what has come out of that day is a wonderful um, remembrance of what Paul was about um, he in a short career had won an All-Ireland Vocational Schools medal with Fermanagh College, where, where he moved to after he was at St Kieran's in Ballygally in his younger days. Uh, I think that competition bears his, cup bears his name now also. But more importantly, and I remember his funeral, the priest talking about his exuberance and having spoken to him the night before the RMI game and how he was all excited about playing he had just beaten down in the previous round, by the way. Uh, but Howley was all excited about playing and that he would score a goal, he would score the winning goal, and as a transpired, he did. Um, so you knew from that early age that this was a player that was brave, was determined, was committed, and had everything that you would want uh, as a model in a young player. And what has come out of that was 10 years after his death, was the foundation of the spirit of Paul McGear. Um, you will hear from Michael or Fanula later, for those of you who are not aware of what it's about, they will fill you in on it and the great work that they do in Africa, uh, Zambia in particular, in, in, in relation uh, to that. Because Paul, as a child, had been to the SMA Fathers, the thing that they, they do in Drummondtine, the, the course combines with religion, with sport, uh, and that's where he, that, that seed was sown and it's a lot with the SMA followers I know are involved in the spirit of Paul McGear. And I've been very fortunate down the years to have been at a number of fundraising events uh, in recognition of the spirit of Paul McGear. And it's a really, really worthwhile cause. What I would also say to you is I have been lucky enough to have experienced um, the 
Paul McGear tournament, first hand, and Barry, the chairman, referred uh, two years ago. My own club won it, I had two sons playing. And they still talk about it, uh, at what a great competition it is, how well it is organised. And for those of you who haven't been there before, I know a lot of the teams that are, are taking part have, have participated before. Um, but you will know what a wonderful competition it is. Um, it brings together, for the first time, the opportunity for county champions uh, at club level in Ulster, at the youngest age at under 16, to come together uh, to compete, to see who, who, who comes out on top. Uh, the under 16 tournament two years ago, which my own club happened to win, was special in a way that it was the first time that every player who participated in it was not alive during Paul McGear's lifetime. So it just shows you how time moves on um, and how it is important that we recognise uh, and remember those who have made a, a lasting contribution. And the one thing I would just say to all the clubs taking part, yes, I know you'll want to win. Yes, I know you'll want to do well. But you can make friendships during this. And the one thing I would appeal, and any game I have seen has always been played in a great spirit, is that you play the tournament in the spirit of Paul McGear. So I wish you all every success. It'll be a wonderful tournament. The crown and glory, I suppose, for Bourne two years ago, quite ironic in many ways, was the winning trophy was presented by none other than Stephen O'Neill, who even some of the younger lads here <laughs> will probably remember Stephen playing for Tyrone. It so happened that day, back on 15th of June 1997, that when Paul went off injured, the player who took his place was Stephen O'Neill. So, a lot of great memories. It's a wonderful tournament. Thanks to the McGear family and the Dremorse St. Dimpness Club for the opportunity to speak here tonight. And I wish you all a very, very successful tournament. And irrespective, if you win, lose or draw, I know you get something beneficial out of it. Thank you very much.